Good evening, fellas. Frankie Day here. Okay, guys, uh, this is video number four on my Spanish galleon, Isabella, my billing boats. Okay, guys, the fun, uh, fun part uh, is going to begin, and the hard part's over. I got the whole entire bottom of the hull completely planked, and uh, I masked off the water line and that filler several coats of primer that went on and, and brushed on the final uh, white color using a little bit of brown to give it the little tallow look and uh, so when you move the tape off the hull it leaves almost like a looks like an overlay you can see how thick the the, the, the paint is on there that's how it was on the real ship okay guys uh only where to go now is upward so I'm going to put the strakes on the uh, board of the superstructure. And then before I do that, i got to put these beams. i got to cut out a bunch of parts tonight. i got some beams to fit on top of the forecastle deck. And also the aft, uh, the aft deck of the fantail. That's got to be put on there. And also by the bowsprit area where the uh, cut water is at. There's a deck on there too, and uh, she has four masts, and a typical rig layout of that of the 15th century uh, um, man of war is a Spanish galleon, and uh, they're a very beautiful ship. The Isabella here by Billings Boats, uh, as per instructions, its origin is unknown. It could be Portuguese, could be French, could be Spanish of anybody and uh, there's a lot of these vessels that were sunk during uh, off the Sea of Cortez and uh, a lot of them were sunk and had a lot of card a lot of uh, treasure aboard them and that, that they've been found and uh, all through the Caribbean a lot of Spanish galleons that were sunk off there also around, around Cape Horn a lot of Spanish galleons that went around the Horn uh, a lot of them were lost because of the uh, the changing of the, uh, the, the tides and the water and the weather system out there, which is really rough around the Horn. That's why they made the Panama Canal right there to keep it going around the Horn, make it easier. <clears throat> because back in the days of sail, it was very, very rough. A lot of ships foundered out there because of that. And uh, so this is a typical Spanish galleon. Like I said, its origin's unknown. And I'm very happy and very pleased that I got the got all the planking done on it. And I gave a couple coats of polyurethane. If I need about another four or five more coats before it's over with. Because that wood is very thirsty. It has been dried out for many, many years. And uh, so I'm trying to put life back into the wood by adding uh, moisture. So the best way to do it is use, uh, is use polyurethane because it has linseed oils in it. So which is very good. Okay, guys, we'll go back and take a look at the Spanish Isabella right here. And uh, as you can see in the background right here, as I zoom in closer, you can see the, the water line on it. We've got it all completely masked off, fellas. You can see how it's all masked. Nice and smooth. So, like I say, guys, when you the key of making a period ship like this and you get this warlock, you remember back in those days there was no such thing as copper sheathing. It was all tallow. So to achieve this tallow surface on here is that after you plank it, you sand down your planks so as much as you can and you add your filler. You sand off one coat of filler. That's all you need. Wipe it off, make sure you got no dust, no resin, dust residue, nothing on there. For that tape to stick, it's got to have some kind of stick of That's why I went ahead and pre-polyurethane the hull of this ship here. That one, I put the tape across it, and it has something to stick to. But you want to leave this tape on, guys. After you put that tape on, you brush yourself. Give yourself a little cup like this. A little mixing cup here. That's latex paint. 
I got a couple of gallons of this latex paint laying around the house. It's, it's good paint. It's very expensive paint. This paint cost me $22 a gallon for this stuff. This is nothing but undercoat primer paint. And I use this here paint on this here model. So what you do is, you have just a hint of brown. You want to make sure that it's got brown in it. We're going to make sure that it's more white than brown. That's the color that you're aiming for. Applied with a brush. When this stuff dries, fellas, it leaves no brush marks at all. This is magic liquid latex paint. My favorite. So we do period ships. Always use latex. Heck with Tamiya paints, testers, Packer paints, any kind of paint out there in model form, do not use. This is wood. Wood and latex are about as compatible as peas and carrots. So this is what I use on this here ship. Now, like I say, all I gotta do is next get that bottle of paint out of the way so I'll knock it over. Up here we got these beams that come across on top of these frame warmers there. That's where your deck this is where your first deck comes on. You got a beam across here which your deck lays on. They got another beam up here which the, the top of the forecastle deck goes on. The same thing goes aft with those beams. Once those beams are on, got to cut the decks out, plank the decks like I did this here, and install the same. Once that's done, you got to run a strake of wood right across through here. It'll be like rubbing the strake right across all the way through here. Then you go ahead and follow up with your your planking, and the, if you, the hole will take form. So. Right now, I gotta cut out a bunch of these little beams on here, these deck beams that go across these formers here. They gotta be pre cut out. And also, I gotta cut out some knees, which fit on the transom of the, of the, of the Isabella. And I gotta build up a transom to continue the planking, which will follow. But I was reading this instruction book right here. So it's always good to follow the instructions of this book, guys. This is a Ford kit. And this and foreign kits and domestic kits are pretty much the same construction wise. But it's always good to follow this book right here because this will tell you how to do it because this has been modeled before by this company, by Mr. Billings. And following this instruction book of the game, you can't go wrong. That's what I did in this here. So I kinda of deviated just to go ahead and building it and heck with following instructions, but I think it was kind of a treat to follow instructions. And I got thus far. The only thing I had on this kit different than the instructions told me not to do is that I had the planking. Because the deck already comes with a printed deck already, so it's too dark. Too much mahogany on this thing. Because they gave you nothing but Raymond Wood and mahogany. That's all there is. And the only plywood is what they give you for the stand, the slave base, and of course your keel parts and your formers and your mast and your, your dowling for your yards. That's it. Everything else is Raymond and Mahogany. So that's why I chose my method by making these deck planks on here. By making these deck planks on here, I'll be able to achieve a, a good scale deck and get away from the printed deck and brushing on polyurethane and the ship to be too dark. So I want to make sure I don't want it too dark. And it's the you look real nice, fellas. So you can see the shape of it across here as I run the strakes up the that up aft. And up forward, you got two decks. You got one deck here, one up here. So on top of here, you got a strake goes all across through here, stops right there, and it planks down there to this rubbing strake. Then up here, you got to be planked all the way across here also. Of course, you got to put the deck on the forward on the on the cut water by the on the valley area here. And get that done. Okay, guys, that concludes video four of the Isabella. I should have another one probably. Uh, what's the uh, Sunday? By Tuesday, I should have another video. By Tuesday, I should have this thing pretty well planked. And uh, so right now, it's going to go a little faster now, guys, because the hard part's over with. The biggest problem I was having with this here kit is 
was fighting the wood because it kept them snapping over there and breaking all the time. And also the separation of the plywood is starting to separate because it's losing its adhesion of the glue joints because it's all dried out. It's, the kits are getting old. So I'm very, very glad. I, it was a good call on my part by grabbing this out of the stash pile and building it. That way I have to worry about decaying and disintegrating before my eyes. So I, I uh, killed two birds with one stone right there. And of course, this is a nice ship. And, uh, and with this right here, I just, uh, it's hard to take your hands off of it. I can keep going on it. Tomorrow, guys, uh, I was making an online uh, uh, build on the Victor. I go. I chose to do it tomorrow because I can work on this tomorrow afternoon before I go to work and get, get it all ready to assemble and everything. And by tomorrow evening, get up work. I'm going to make an online video on the Victor. <clears throat> on the Gorge Fork, I haven't done much of that. It's over behind me, out of harm's way. I could probably hop on that maybe. Maybe tomorrow sometime, or maybe next, maybe this week. So it's going to be slow builds because I'm building three at a time, and I got to get Martin's uh, 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 Measurement 410 Buddy Group build shaken. I got to get that the final paint on it and get it done. I start constructing my uh, my Monogram Pro model uh, Measurement 410. So that's going to be a very interesting build as well. But right now I'm concentrating on Isabella. I want to get this thing done, guys, because I want to get this thing finished, you know, and I want to get it at the point that that I have to worry about it, about the wood uh, deteriorating on me because I need to get all the parts done on it. <clears throat> and so it saved my bacon by adding polyurethane on there. A lot of people use all, all kinds of method. But you gotta have something that preserves the wood. And, you can't, and polyurethane is, is excellent, preserves it. And restores wood, it turns wood into magic. So, this is it for Isabella. And, uh, we'll get her all planked up. So, I almost cut, get the parts out, so I'm making these parts for it. Get the deck means done. And like I say, I'm really pleased with the waterline. You can see how it has built up right there. That's like that in the real ship. Okay, guys, uh, that's about it for me. This is about it for Isabella. This is Frankie Day signing off. God bless you guys and make Mama happy. And please subscribe. And happy modeling. And uh, we should have another video on this probably by this Tuesday. And uh, so tomorrow night, for sure, I'll have an online uh, build on the Victor. And uh, I'll have one day this week, I'll have another video on the Gor Gorgebrook. And uh, get her all squared away for you. And uh, I'm building on. And I hope you're building on too. Okay, this is Frank Day signing off. God bless you guys and happy modeling. And I love you guys. You guys take care of yourselves, fellas. Bye now, guys.